Okay, moving on. Game 3. As long as the survivors. As long as the survivors can get a tie here. I think tie is more than enough for... If, uh, like, survivor gets a tie here, sprinter gets, gets a tie. Then it's going to be a win for B for you. But coming from any side, it seems like we're going to go trump card detention with one stack of fast power breaking. Might like deploying down the doll right there, but it does seem like he'll be missing the doll from any side. It's a little bit early on to the game scene mechanic so early running in such an open area. My leg... Ooh, couldn't dodge that bomb right there. That's an immediate bomb. The second bomb is going to come in. And there goes the mech. 42 seconds into the game. That is a really fast down, isn't it? That's a really fast down. Uh, but the good news is there's still half a doll outside. So this half a cypher should be... Well, I mean, you probably could be able to decode a full cypher with that half a doll not going to lie with you. Which is why, which is, which is why mech's doll is going to get nerfed. Thank God, it's going to be reduced from 110% to 100% decoding progress. For, listen, for all of you, for genuinely speaking, right, for all of you who are like, oh no, Mexico Doll is going to decode at 90% now. No, 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 no. Read the skill description. Mexico Doll decodes at 110%. If it's a 10% reduce, it'll just decode the same as a normal survivor. Lucky Guy's doll is not going to be better than a mech doll. I'm just going to say this out here in this video, in which not many people will see. But no, Lucky, Gu Lucky Guy's doll now and mech doll is going to be the same thing. Except for mech will have twice the amount of Lucky Guy. Now then, seeing that Roland is nearby, we do see that the four ciphers are currently at around 30% in general. But with that no damage rescue there coming from Roland's side, that is huge. That is honestly huge for b for you right now. Allowing this tie time to come out as well. This should allow quite a bit, but I has peeper so it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like we'll be chaining towards teleport anytime soon which four ciphers at 50 percent is great and all but i don't understand why we are getting the bombs out in this day and age as there is no harassers on this team i am going to be cheering the mech in towards this chair right now paul emblems decides that uh, he's not problems not emblems problems deciding not to decode anymore because whoever decodes bomb can immediately teleport out and look for you now it throws the remote control bomb thinking that there was actually someone in the middle but it probably would be better for you to destroy that pallet instead forcing Roland out of that cypher right now for b for you it's still a tie game for them considering the fact that Mextal did manage to decode quite a bit in that situation maybe it was just a little bit of an earlier rescue though from b for you side considering the fact that i think Mextal managed to decode 52 percent on chair but mech still has the doll out there right so probably could have gone up to 70 something or x YZ. Now the teleporting media looking for Schmidty right now. These bombs will have to chain successfully chaining that bomb right there. But it does seem like Flywheel will be popping out immediately coming from Schmidty's side. That's a remote control bomb down. That's two bombs, but there is no teleport coming from no no blink coming from any side as the teleportation has been used. Now then utilizing the fireball right there. Any going to not step on that. Neither is he gonna planning on break anything. There is the bees right here. Hit it out a little bit too early than I expected, but there goes the the bees and Paul Emblems going in there now does not see the footprint sadly sees that mercenary is also nearby but if we're deciding to chase after the mercenary right now it's a really good idea mercy with only one elbow pad remaining definitely will not be getting the chip anytime soon but elbow pad will be utilized to gain a little bit of distance between himself and the bomb 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 having four well five to six bombs on his hands these bombs will have to land if we want to aim for more as of now roland trying to contain for as long as possible and he gets the chain bomb very nicely done needs one more does roland still lives roland gets a hit down there though a little bit which is a little bit more unfortunate now i need deciding to change targets immediately this is why you should have gotten rid of that pallet immediately but gets a chip on towards paul blims though there's two cypher machines at 70 percent on average but 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 but, but problems here has to contain for quite a bit of time for our mercenary to be healed mm, schmidt is still trying to get that get that cypher open of course missing the remote control bomb right there and he's panicking here a little bit and he's panicking here now i once again throwing down the bomb this 
palm will not chain on towards palm there's a entomologist is uh, not decoding continuing for quite a bit of time but getting the pot over the hit there right from an yi side this bomb bond still does have two more bombs to chain will these bombs chain is the biggest question of it all will it chain it changed on towards paul blims walking in towards that one right now and roland who's currently in middle seems like an yi is going to decide to chair near a little bit of a further corner paul no it's paul blims smoothie here running in towards the middle of the acro bash teleport will be coming out will teleport teleport will come out from from an yi right here if smoothie gets melted down right here then it's over for b for you because this will be a four man elimination that's one chip that's is that going to be another chip that won't be another chip thankfully but a remote control bomb will be taking a home right here that's one side formation 82 percent that has been locked against b for you side right now uh an yi here has to be very careful in how he plays because they definitely need to go and open a completely new cipher but if an yi allows a no damage rescue here then it'll be completely a tie for the survivors as of now you have to get rid of that pallet no matter what an yi does not see where the survivor is coming from as roland is already coming in from the back roland's coming in from the back on the left hand side of it not left hand side bottom left hand side of our screen it does seem like we'll be able to get the no damage right here an yi you fit your intuition came in a little bit too late right they're missing the chip right there schmidty still does have two bombs left on his hands though missing that one once again there's two cybers currently ash uh, the other cypher is currently at 50% if you do decide to chase after the mercenary right here would you be able to catch up to him though you need to land normal hit on the mercenary and he gets the normal hit on the mercenary there's a remote control bomb on your hand and he can you land this remote control bomb the next are you gonna lose no 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 you can, the remote control bomb is going to be deployed but that time bomb this doesn't seem like it'll be able to land on towards no you missed that and it does seem like it'll become a tie here for b for you against ang east against Ang Yi's bomb bon. the early down mech the early down mech this seemed like it was going to become a 4k but because it's a mechanic whose doll decodes so darn fast would you look at that now uh sees where the mercenary is but have losing the side of a mercenary just a little bit right now roland here still trying to buy as much time as possible for the survivors to open the gate we have two survivors on one on each case but the thing is right there's still a teleport here so if roland can stall for a little bit more time here we need a little bit more time roland for a tie we need a little bit more time if you give the normal hit right here it should be more than enough for the tie for the acrobat to get out and let's congratulate me for you for the tie right now moving on towards second half we go yeah, then second half we go it seems like sprinter is gonna come out with a bomb on though i mean he does only need a tie assuming that the dream witch is banned i don't think gw will ban wax artists on a map like this but first chase most likely will become the postman and sprinter has brought confined space to tension here uh rotating towards barmy but barmy crouching really well right here does not have quenching effect which is a little bit of an unfortunate situation sees that postman seems on his currently in factory and the chase will begin depending on how fast sprinter can get this postman down because if sprinter doesn't get this postman down in at least two minutes then like it's a three man escape and so it's not good for sprinter at all as there's one win and one lose from each side seems like he's still trying to rotate around this area as much as possible but decided not put that pallet down though it still gets the dog out which is nice but not having the pallet down is a little bit unfortunate that chain bomb also does not land now then with sprinter side this is quite a nice area to land your bombs in that's the first ship very nicely done by sprinter will the shack the second ship will come out but sprinter walked in between the pallet will doing that hit right there ah oh, the attack animation there was a little bit unfortunate from sprinter's side if only that landed on towards the postman but postman immediately changing from the window speed boost to the pat to the movement speed boost a 10 percent movement speed boost letter uh with the postman here he utilized that uh window vault but slow vaulting in so sprint doesn't so sprinter doesn't know but throwing the first bomb then second bomb then it does seem like this bomb will not be able to land but sprinter will be no it's a pallet stun that's a that's a second pallet stun seen ton is putting out so many pallet stuns today and the dog did manage to bite as well the blink now has been fully nullified and of course sprinter not having enough bombs on his hands as of now seeing some vaulting out here immediately not having any pallet speed boost though mm, how long he can he contain the one the sprinter needs to get him down in the next 15 seconds or it'll be really bad but thankfully the chain bombs did manage to land him down there's a basement there though sprinter are you you're not gonna aim for a basement uh, i mean in a nutshell as a mer like even for mercenary going into basement rescuing against a bomb bomb yes you can elbow pad down but there is still the risk of getting a double down situation mm, but not chairing into basement is more of a surprise here this just allows these our prospector to come in to harass we also saw from the persona side as well sprinter does not have addiction here so 
Desperate Fight is on, but doesn't have his diction. Si Xiaoya currently at half health right now. Si Si coming in with the red foot with the stun to allow non, non, to, to not allow a double down situation. But sprints are also moving back, being very smart right there, taking the stun immediately. But the postman here rotating as far away as possible from our hunter as of now. That will chip immediately right there. Postman throws out the dog right here. Will this bomb land? No, the bomb was not on Sprinter's hand, sadly, to chain that one. Can we chain one more? We can't. There's not enough bombs, but at least the remote control is going to come out in five seconds. This is, this is, this is, with the body block here from the prospector's side. Puts down the pallet from Sin Tung. Sin Tung has to continue for a little bit longer right here as they are still missing one full cipher. We do see that the escort is coming in from the prospector's side, but Sin Tung is kind of limited to his movement right here as the remote control will be coming out and the postman will be getting immediate hit down right here. Missing one full cipher immediately. Sprinter can definitely get a tie right here as we do see these are coming in with another magnet perfect magnet control from there Sprinter wants to cancel these magnets but it still seems like the stone will be coming in immediately and then these are trying another one down as we do see here as well very nicely done oh no couldn't cancel the magnet there once again what is this these what is this can we get a stone we did not get a stone right to cancel from the prospect side immediately there as we do see as well these needs to get another stone right here another stone does get in we did get our fourth cipher done as barmaid and mercenary rushing behind the shack to both decode that cipher machine as we are going to chair Sing Tung as of now. For now, it does seem like the prospector will be staying near this vicinity as his fourth or fifth magnet will be coming up very soon as well. We also do see that the flywheel is coming from Prozzi's side, so at least he won't be immediately chain bombed down and should be able to get very close towards the shark for the cipher machine to be popped to allow him to rescue. But as we do see here as well, what do we see? We see the cipher machine currently at 58%, 60%, 60% cipher machine progress with the two decoding at the same cipher. Okay, these are coming in immediately right here, but the remote control bomb there. Wait, wait, why? No, you don't tap it. You hold this. Okay, with the push bar right there, should be able to get the rescue immediately. The cipher machine is currently at 90% right here. Gets the dog by unseen to successfully done him a bat bomb. The cipher machine is primed. Both sprints are getting losing himself a bit right there. There is still blink though, but this, but this, but this movement speed boost will allow him to rotate a little bit further on. He also gave himself a movement speed boost with a 10% movement speed boost along with borrowed time. It does seem like this window may be able to be utilized, but he doesn't seem like he wants to do so anymore from the postman side. Postman, postman, you already doing such a good idea to blink come out, but he didn't get hit on the postman. Postman successfully vaulted over as of now as well. Where is the dungeon? The dungeon is near factory. Can everyone rush out as of now? Sprinter, you only needed a tie. Sprinter, the double pallet stun really did hurt quite a bit as everyone got in there. This is a four man escape. Oh, let's congratulate GW for winning against before you. As this is. Oh my god, no, that's Ingel. As Ingel gives a random applause for his teammates. Oh, okay, we'll move on towards match three.